Hi guys. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Kushbu and in this video we are going to see the question minimum moves to equal array elements part 2. Given an integer array nums of size n, return the minimum number of moves required to make all the array elements equal. In one move you can either increment or decrement an element of the array by 1. So here is an example given to us that is having the numbers one, two, and three, and the minimum numbers of moves required is two because we'll increase one over here and make this two, and decrement one from this three and make it two, which makes the array two, two, two in two moves. Similarly, there is an example two given to us in which the output comes out to be sixteen. Now let's see how we can solve this question. Let's take this array. and find out what we are going to need from this one so we need to find the central point from which each point would be nearer that is if we keep that as a center all the points are going to be having lower distance compared to when the point was shifted somewhere else so this is nothing but median of the array and now what is the median of the array For finding out the median, we need to sort the array and find out the middle element of that array. So the middle element of this array is one. So this becomes median. And now we need to calculate the steps to make each and every element equivalent to this particular median element. So if you see for zero, we need to add one to make it equivalent to the median element. For six, we need to decrement this number by five to make it equal to one, and for eight, we need to subtract seven from this. So this subtraction or addition of numbers that we are doing in order to make it equal is nothing but equivalent to the steps we are taking to make the array equal. So the main task in this particular approach would be finding the median of the array. Now, in this array we are having odd number of elements and so the middle element is nothing but this one. What if this array was of size 4? In that scenario the middle element would be constituted of two numbers that is 0 and 1. And the mean of those two would have been the median. that is the average of these two elements would be the median which comes out to be 0 if the array is only of size 4 and the 0 and 1 fall into the middle positions so we need to keep in mind these conditions while we are finding the median of the array so let's quickly write the code for this approach first and then we'll come back and see another approach which is quite interesting and intuitive the first thing that we need is sort the array then find the median and then calculate steps so let's write the code for this and this is nothing but arrays dot sort and we are done with this median would be found out by applying the two conditions that we have for either even length of nums array or odd length of nums array so if this is even we need to find the average of the middle two and the middle two will be the elements at n by 2 and n by 2 minus 1 so let's just take this in a variable which will make it handy for us and here i'll write n by 2 and this whole divided by 2 this is the case for even number of elements and for odd we can just do nums of n by 2 So this gives me my median and now I need to calculate the steps. So for that I am going to iterate over my nums array and find the difference. So I'll be calculating the steps and so I need a variable for that and this would be equal to steps plus the absolute difference of number and median. And that's it. Finally return the steps. So this is the median approach. Let's run this code, and it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this, and it got submitted. The time complexity for this is n log n for sort method, and for this is n. So we are not going to consider the n, but the overall time complexity becomes n log n, and the space complexity is nothing but. O of one because we are not using any extra space, but we are just altering the array. Now let's see one more approach that is more intuitive than this one. 
in this array which is sorted one we need to make the elements equal so if we take this first and the last one that is the minimum and the maximum we would need to add something in this minimum and subtract something from this maximum value to make them equal so let's take the value that we are going to add and subtract as x and y and so we are doing 0 plus x and 8 minus y and after doing this what is going to happen is these both things are going to become equal so what we are effectively doing here is we are taking x number of steps for 0 and y number of steps for 8 to make them equal so how do you find the values do you need to find the value for x and y no you just need to find the value for x plus y so we'll just shift these variables here and there to make it y plus x equal to 8 minus 0 so the difference or the number of steps in order to make these two elements equal is nothing but the difference between these which is 8 minus 0 and this y plus x is nothing but the steps now let's iterate over this array and find out the number of steps that we would be taking in order to make the array equal so in the first one we'll initially have steps as 0 and we'll add the steps we are taking to make 0 and 8 equal which is 8 minus 0 in the next step we'll go one step forward and from here we'll go one step backward that is we'll move in both the directions and again try to make these elements as equal which is 6 minus 0 steps which gives me 6 steps and now I'll again move the pointers and now my pointer has come to a place wherein both the pointers are at same position so do I need to do anything to make that equal because x is already equal to y being at same position so I can stop over here and my answer is the addition of all the steps that I have got and which comes out to be 14 over here so this was one of the other ways that we could use to solve this particular problem so over here also we are going to sort the array and we are going to try and reduce the array we do not need to find the median over here because at the end what we are going to do is make the array equal to the median that we have in our array by performing these steps so let's go ahead and code this approach out for this approach too we are going to sort the array first and then we are going to just calculate the steps by taking two pointers so let's quickly write the code we'll do arrays.sort and this gives me a sorted array and now i need two pointers so i'll have a pointer i which will be at zero and j which will be at the last position which is nums.length minus one now i'll take a loop and while my i is less than j i can just go and iterate over it and so i'll add steps for which i'll need a steps variable too and that steps will initially be zero and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add to it the difference between the two that is nums of j minus nums of i over here i do not need to do a modulus operation because i'll be subtracting the lower value from the higher value since now my array is sorted after this is done i'm going to do an i plus plus and i'm going to do a j minus minus finally return the steps and that's it let's try to run this and it's giving a perfect result let's submit that and it got submitted so the time complexity over here still remains o of n log n because we are using a sort function and the space complexity is also o of 1 because we are not using anything other than the nums array itself so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one so till then keep learning keep coding bye bye